My ghost on this episode, we're gonna talk about rock band vests, black label society, military patches, any social club cuts, anything that you could throw on that would ask the question, would a one percenter take these? And we get into it on this episode of Demons Road TV. And oh yeah, we ghosting, baby. Get the get well cards, they sit. Ghost, welcome to Demons Road TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Chopper Sosa, I'm your host for the evening, and first things first, we gonna keep it religious. Hit me with that pound, ghosting, and let me know you're alive and well, sitting on two, doing what you do. Today's a special day for your boy, it's October 6th, it's my birthday, I'm feeling great, I'm Demon's Road to the Socks. You see the new, the new sweater look? Go down right now. Underneath the video, there's a merch shelf. Get your Demon's Road gear. That's the biggest happy birthday you could give your boy. I feel blessed. And there was a time in my life where I thought I wouldn't even make it to this age. Like being shot, prison, gang banging, all the stuff that I've seen. Being a young boy on the K to Ave and 205. Shout out to the K to Ave. Gun Hill area, like we saw so much shit growing up. And I mean, literally like, I tell people like, you ever seen a real zombie? Like you seen zombies? Like they get that from the Bronx in the eighties when we were growing up, it was literally buildings burned down and crackheads living in the burned down buildings. Hustlers hustling to them there. It was crazy, like it was literally zombies out there so to right now to be where i'm at and just kicking it with y'all it's just a straight blessing from god and i appreciate it and i appreciate all y'all for even tuning in before we dive deep into the rock band vest and, and military patches and the black label society and any other questions that have been raised there's one thing that i want to say and it's that i'm covering these one percent of topics and it's not to co-sign people losing their vests. I do not co-sign somebody running up on somebody, point blank range, telling them to take their shit off because they didn't earn something or they have some colors on that they didn't know look like rival colors. I'm not co-signing that. What I'm here to do is educate brothers and let brothers know how to move and how to understand how the streets work. This is not me teaching submission and I've noticed and, and big shout to Black Dragon because I've seen that that brother been doing it for a long time and he's dealt with the same scrutiny that I'm getting for years that he's been doing it and I want to give him a big shout because he did some real shit between me and him on a street level he did some real shit so I got a lot of respect for him and I've seen that he's going through the same shit people are like saying that he's like co-signing people to lose their cuts and whatever. I don't co-sign that. I do not co-sign that. I'm telling you that, all police watching, I do not co-sign anybody taking any cut from anybody. So in my opinion, my opinion, if you wear a Metallica vest or Iron Maiden or any of those band type vests, I don't see a problem with it. I really don't. And I don't even really look at it as corny or anything. Like Sons of Anarchy vest, I'll look at it kind of corny. But like the, the band vest or whatever, I understand they're just fans. I guess it's the same thing as Sons of Anarchy. They're just fans and they're having a good time. I don't have anything against that. If you jump on a motorcycle and you're repping it like it's a club, that's a little, you know, some people might not like that. I'll be honest with you. Have I ever seen somebody's cut get taken because they were wearing like a Metallica vest or something? No, I have never seen that. Can it happen? Anything can happen. I'm not saying that it will, but anything can happen. I've never seen it, but it is possible. Now, 
the black label society, that's a whole nother animal because whenever you throw on a three piece patch with no MC, with an MC, whatever it is, it depends on what neighborhood you're riding through. And if you're, it's black and white that cut. So if you're riding through the wrong neighborhood, anything can happen, you know what I mean? So personally, if I saw somebody in black, with a black label society cut, would I laugh at them? Would I think bad about them? No, I wouldn't. I would just look at them like they're a fan of whatever it is. I saw a little clip about Zach Wild. I'm not too familiar with him. I didn't grow up listening to that type of music. We didn't listen to Zach Wild on Gun Hill. Like that wasn't our thing. You know what I mean? But I seen a little clip and I seen that they were taking it very serious about a cut. Somebody like touched somebody's cut or whatever. And I mean, I guess they earn it. I don't know if they earn it or just buy it. You let me know in the comments about Black Label Society, what you guys know about it, because you guys always enlighten me. I don't know much about it. If I seen it, I really wouldn't care. Like, I wouldn't say anything. Now, in the wrong neighborhood, three-piece patch can always, it can, it can be a problem. It depends on where you're at. Like, it really depends where you're at. And this, nowadays, three-piece patches, let's keep it real. And I'm gonna be the one to say it. Three-piece patches, a lot of clubs have three-piece patches now. A lot of clubs. So it's not like, oh, well, you have a three-piece patch, you're gonna get your head knocked off. It's not like that. So on the Black Label Society, it's a gift and a curse. It depends on what hood you're from. You know what I mean? I don't know if somebody will take it or will not, but if it's a three-piece, you're putting yourself in a position where somebody would take it. Now, military patches, live to ride that type of stuff live to ride first of all you're perfectly fine with that people have asked me about that a lot of people have emailed me and said am i okay with that in the wrong area would it be a problem and i would say yes i don't there would never be a problem over that i could say i think 100 percent that you would never have a problem with that now military vests are earned and like I said earlier, anything earned is what you're supposed to wear. You're supposed to earn whatever you put on your back. And if you're jumping on a motorcycle and you're riding around, you need to have patches that you earn. A lot of military people have asked me, could it be a problem if I'm in a certain area, if I'm wearing my squadron you know, logo or whatever insignia on the back? And I say a hundred times out of a hundred, no. Any MC has roots started from back in those days. Most MCs, the older MCs, have roots going back to people that serve. This is where it originates from. And if you're in the club and you don't respect them, give them brothers their respect because they earn those patches. Now I want you brothers to let me know how you feel in the comments about rock band patches. Tell me any stories that you got. You know we always shop up with stories. Any stories about people wearing rock band patches or, or Black Label Society. I know I got some brothers on here that are down with Black Label Society. Shout to y'all, give me some knowledge on that. I really don't know much about it. So let me know that in the comments so we could dive a little bit deeper into that. And I just wanna stress that ride safe out there and just, I'ma keep knocking it home. Wear patches that you earn. That's the safest way, and that's the answer to every question that's been flooding my email. If you earned it, then you wear it. But if you didn't earn it, don't wear it. Or if you didn't earn it and you want to wear it, just understand what comes with it. And I'm not saying that definitely something will happen, but it is a possibility that something could happen. If you have any ideas for topics that you want me to cover, hit me in the comments. Let me know any of those topics. Hit me with a pound and wherever you're from, just so I know where everybody's from. I'm trying to learn everybody and see how far we've expanded because we got people in so many places, Afghanistan and Africa. It's getting crazy right now. And there's a lot of love on these channels and I want to focus on the love, not the nonsense. Get the Demon's Row clothing, like I said, down in the description, underneath in the merch shelf. We got it in the comments. The first Demon's Row comment, we always posted there too. Rep it proud. And also, I wanted to answer a question. A lot of people ask, 
if you wear the demon's robe clothing, would you get into a problem somewhere? 100% no, it's just a motorcycle t-shirt. There's no affiliation to it. Nobody's gonna have a problem with it. You're gonna be straight everywhere you go. Thank you for tuning in to Demons Road TV, the holy grail of MC culture. And oh yeah, we ghosting, baby.